Hi, my name is Joan Walsh. I'm the Bertrand Chair of Ornithology at Mass Audubon. Welcome to our video blog for today about black-capped chickadees. Black-capped chickadees are a fabulous bird for beginning bird watchers to get to know, mostly because there's only one species of chickadee in the state. Once you get to learn the basic cut of their jib, you can impress your friends by saying, hey look, there's a black-capped chickadee, and you'll probably be right. Black-capped chickadees occur across the state. They occur everywhere from rural areas to leafy suburbs and even urban areas that have a lot of trees. So let's tuck in right now with our friend Evan Sibley, who also doubles as a volunteer video editor for this series and learn why black-capped chickadee is his favorite bird and probably why it should be yours also. Hi there, my name is Evan Sibley, and I'm very excited to be with you today to talk about my favorite bird, the black-capped chickadee. There are plenty of very fancy-looking birds out there, but hear me out. I think chickadees have the best personality of any bird. They're very small. They actually weigh a little bit less than a three-quarter teaspoon of water. And yet, they think they're a big deal. They'll pick fights with birds twice their size, and they'll actually usually seem fearless in the face of humans, sometimes even eating bird seed right from your hand. The black-capped chickadee is also not bad to look at. While they may not have opted for the flashy colors of a blue jay, a cardinal, or me in my last play, they have opted for a classic white, gray, and black outfit. It's very stylish. And to top all of this off, Black-capped chickadees actually have a rare superpower called torpor. So torpor works a bit like hibernation, where an animal will sleep through the whole winter to conserve uh, body fat and energy, but the chickadee can turn on and off torpor when it needs to. So a bear has to sleep through the whole winter, but a chickadee can just go into torpor for one very cold night. And when they do, their body temperature drops from 105 degrees as normal to 50 degrees. And then the next morning, in order to heat their body back up to get back to foraging, they'll just shiver themselves back up to 105 degrees. And then they're back at our feeders just like normal. So I hope I have made a convincing case for why the black cat chickadee should be your favorite bird as well. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you some other time. Thanks for joining us today on this episode about chickadees. I wanted to make one point, which is that Dr. Susan Smith, who is Professor Emeritus from Mount Holyoke, is the person who literally wrote the book on black-capped chickadees. She received the medal from the Wilson Ornithological Society, named after none other than Margaret Morse Nice, also from Mount Holyoke. I wanted to take this opportunity also to thank all of you who've been leaving comments after our video blogs. And many of you asked if we had a video of a song sparrow singing. Well, none other than our own Ellen McBride went out and took this fabulous video of a song sparrow singing. So we'll cut out with that and we wish you a great weekend. Thanks so much.